Hi guys, this is a video on how I made my Windows desktop, Windows XP desktop dark. Basically I've had a lot of comments, um, a few messages as well, saying um, how did you get the taskbar on Google Black and how did you change the font for your shortcuts. Uh, in my previous videos I had a, a dark desktop. Uh, hey, in your free web video you mentioned XPIs, I downloaded it, but it didn't seem to work. You mentioned that you use different software for XPIs. I was wondering what you use. Basically, I use I used XPIs, but I used XPIs dark side. Um, I'll show you how to get it. You just go to YouTube, uh, YouTube, uh, you, uh, Google. Sorry. Um, type in XPIs dark side. You'll notice my font isn't the normal font. I've done this by a, um, a registry tweak, which I will show you in a minute. But uh, yeah, download XPI's Dark Side. Uh, again, this is from Softpedia. One of our previous videos was a piece of software where you can download this and it's trusted and it works and 100% clean. So you hit hit download, uh, choose a mirror. I always go for the RO server for some reason. I find it to be faster. Save it to disk. Hopefully that will be done fairly soon. Um, what XPI's does is it transforms. Uh, if I show you an image of it, uh, images, XPI's dark side. If I show you, oh, it, it sort of transforms different parts of your desktop. Uh, so you see, you've got black wizard things now. Uh, it changes. Uh, it's supposed to give you the 3D Windows XP screensaver. You can change your icon sizes. It will change um, when you get a copy of file. If you notice, you have two. Um, it will go from one folder to another and have a little animation. I think that changes that as well. And your visual style when you start up your computer, it will change that to black and white. Um, the shutdown one as well, I believe, and it includes. Uh, I think it includes a visual style. Uh, there is an official one, this uh, Microsoft Zoom, but it looks horrible. In fact, I'll show you while it's still downloading how nasty Zoom looks. Uh, images, Zoom theme. Yes, with an orange start menu, it looks terrible. <laughs> so, basically, with XPIs, it will transform most of your desktop into into a dark desktop. Uh, if you press next, this is XPI's dark side. I accept. Next. Next. Uh, this, oh this is saying that mine's already installed. Basically what you'll get is a long list of loads of things that you can choose for your computer. Uh, I'd, I suggest you select them all. Uh, select apply and it will go through each file on your computer uh, saying it's uh, overwriting them with custom files, things like that. Uh, what it will also do is it will patch a file called uxtheme.dll. Now this is the engine that runs your visual styles. Uh, basically, it's it's the thing that makes that allows you to customize them. Only Microsoft don't want you using other themes except their own, so they've made it impossible to for people to create custom themes. So a patched version of uxtheme dot dll is required and that's included in xpi's dark side it should do it for you um, if you you like me i think i've got like a rc version of xp service pack 3 uh, there is a website where you can download it i'll include it in the description where you can download a patched version but you need to use a special program to replace it in the system windows system directory because uh, windows likes to overwrite its own copy from custom copies things like that but so what should happen is uh, XPI's dark side will finish. It will say restart your computer now. You restart it. You'll notice that there'll be a black and white visual style, and um, you'll come back. You if you included the zoom, then you'll probably see it says it's like this, but it'll have an orange start menu and look a, li a little bit nasty. Um, and you probably won't notice it much difference, but uh, it's got small things like it will change. Uh, if you go to screensaver it changes this to be a LCD monitor, I think it used to be a CRT monitor, things like that. Small changes but it, it's worth it's worth doing. Um, the next thing to do is to get SLAN XP. This is my theme that I used on my taskbar. 
like I said, you need to patch this UX theme DLL first before you use Slan XP or, or any other custom theme. Uh, but it's included in XPI Darkside and you can download it. So if you hit Google again, type in Slan XP, uh, you'll see Slan XP Visual Style. We're looking for Slan XP 2.0. So that's that one. DeviantArt is a very good website for downloading custom styles. Uh, all you have to do is search Visual Styles or something on. Um, in Google and you'll see a DeviantArt link so this is what it will look like this is what mine's look like anyway custom theme it looks a lot darker, looks nicer uh, the thing with dark things is that it looks nice on LCD monitors uh, like mine, mine's really bright I prefer to, I don't like looking at a bright desktop all day so uh, yeah so you hit download that will download here, right click, extract You'll see Slan X to P2, double click it, double, well, you can double click it from here, but it won't save it. So what, what you have to do is go up one level, Slan X P2, copy it, you then need to type into your run, C, Windows, System, sorry, no, that's wrong, Resources, and then Themes. You can also navigate through for it through your computer, but and then you'll notice you'll have Luna. Uh, I've added some official Microsoft ones, Royale and Zoom, but you just have to copy it into here. Click it, double-click that, 